welcome back to the outpost what I've got planned today is I've got a log that's already on the sawmill and I've got I think uh, counted 13 beams uh, the upper and lower before I am ready to start putting this timber frame together I have actually got all the posts done and I've got the ridge beams done so we're getting really close to start putting this thing together so since the log is already on the sawmill I'm gonna go ahead and mill it up and then the slab wood, if you'll take a look at this picture, the slab wood that I have left over from milling all these uh, beams, I'm going to use it on the permanent base camp down there, not uh, on the decking and on the hobbit house. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw it on the sawmill afterwards, and we're going to trim off the live edges, which will give me a lot of random square boards uh, that I can use for that uh, purpose. So let me get all my tools together, and we'll get busy.
Hey guys, I'm going to take you in here and show you um, some 2 by 2s that I cut because if you can see this, the opening of these doors right here, I've got the 2 by 2s cut because hopefully I get that put together, I can make some doors that fold out. I'm going to take that uh, clear plastic that I had on it last year. I'm going to tack that up on it. These doors are just going to be temporary. It will be something that I can continue to saw lumber in on the inside, and I'll be able to open the doors up, bring a new log in, set it down, and then close the doors back. Last year, I just had it tacked up there, and I really wasn't sawing any lumber. I was working on the inside, trying to do shelving and uh, kind of get everything ready for this year. But anyway... I'm going to take you in here and show you some 2 by 2s that I've got cut up that's been in here drying. Right here are the 2 by 2s that are in here that I, I actually had that weighted down so that they would continue to stay flat while they were drying. Anyway, I've got enough to do both sides and I'll probably be doing that within the next couple of weeks because fall is actually here the leaves are falling and laying on the ground uh, the hardwoods quite haven't turned yet but still a lot of the leaves are falling so it won't be long
Well, it's getting late. I'm going to go ahead and kind of pack up everything and get ready to go home. But I've got probably, I don't know, close to half of that stack done. And as you can see, these boards cleaned up on both sides, cutting off the live edges. They are random, but I've got two by eights, I've got one by sixes, I've got two by sixes, I've got uh, uh, some one by fours. So I'm coming up with all different kinds of good lumber that I can use down on there on that permanent base camp. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on my next uh, day off and cut up the rest of those and then we'll take it down there and uh, stack it down there by the base camp. We'll probably start working on it some uh, this fall or, well, late this fall, maybe early winter. And so I want to try to get as much as I can cut up and ready to go so that when I start down there, um, I won't have to stop and cut anymore other than just cutting my lengths. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this content, give it a thumbs up. We always appreciate you guys when you like, share, and subscribe to our material. Um, we do have a brand new web page that's up. It's under SmokyMountainOutpost.com. Go there, check it out. My son did a fantastic job on it. Um, it's got everything there. It's got our Instagram. It's got YouTube videos. It's got um, um, the Facebook, a place where you can click on and take you right to our Facebook account. Um, also, we're going to have a store coming soon where we'll be uh, have some items that are branded Smoky Mountain Outpost if anyone's interested. But anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching. We hope everyone has a great evening, and we look forward to seeing you at the Outpost in the future.